hey what is up youtube welcome to a new video today i'm gonna show you how to replace the fan on the alienware 17 r4 this sound is coming from the fan as you can see it's trying to stop but it keeps going but the one at the bottom doesn't have any problem I hope that it is not overheating but I definitely need to get the fans quickly and swap these out even got me a laptop cooling pad as you can see here I had this laptop for a while so I'm not really mad at it it's always on and it's been great so far I mean except for the fans look as a hand spin it you see how smooth this one is but check this one so we gotta shut it down this is the fan noise all right now we're gonna go ahead and Remove the back panel which I've already done here you basically have to remove six screws undo the seventh screw but it stays with the back cover from here we're gonna go ahead and remove a couple of screws I believe it's about 13 screws so we have access to uh, the inner panel but before that we're gonna go ahead and remove the drives The Wi-Fi card. Then we move the two package drives. Then we're gonna pop the cable off, just like this. So I should have removed the battery first, but haven't so you want to make sure that you pop off the battery out so you interrupt the power in the system all right so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the inner screws so we can remove the inner panel We also have two screws on the back to remove. Remove the back panel. That's gonna uncover more screws. Remove the LED light. We have another one on the other corner. Pop open the inner case and as you can see it comes out just like this Alright, so the fan connectors are on the bottom of the PCB, so we're going to have to remove the whole motherboard so we can disconnect them. And here comes the motherboard. Remove these ribbon cables. Another connector right here. Note that this is gonna reset the BIOS if you remove the cable. 
and as you can see you have more connectors on the back to remove just like this and you also have the display connector right here you want to be very careful with it just like this and as we flip it back around now the motherboard can come out just like this all right and now we have access to the fans and the connectors so here are the new fans come with tools These are compatible. We're going to disconnect them first. Disconnect the USB connector. There are two tiny screws, you want to remove them. And the fan will come out, as you can see. Alright, so we have the old fan out. Just like this. Also dirty. And as you can see, it's going to need quite some cleaning. Unfortunately, it didn't come with the tape. This one goes right here. Secure it with the screws. Just like this. Alright. Now from the So both fans are installed, ready to go. All right. All right, so that is all set. Now I'm gonna go ahead and 
reinstall this back on I recently replaced the CPU and GPU so if you want to see how to replace the Alienware 17 R4 I'm going to link the video on the top right corner if you want to check it out now I'm going to go ahead and replace the thermal pads as you can see here they look very old they're probably not so efficient at conducting heat so I'm going to go ahead and replace them so here are the replacement bars Alright, so now I have new thermal pads applied, ready to put it back together. I'm going to go ahead and secure it. So disassembly is good. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect the fans. Just right here. Like this, like this, like this. Alright, now I'm going to put this I'm gonna connect the battery in last position. We don't connect it. Next is the battery. I'm gonna secure the templates. Now everything is back together, we're going to go ahead and turn the 
turn it on. So the first boot up usually takes a lot longer than usual. I'm gonna go ahead and give it some time. All right, so we're up. And here is the boot screen. We're going to go ahead and click on continue. And now we're booting into Windows. And as you can see, we are all set. Alright, so that was how you replace your fans on the Alienware 17 R4. So if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.